Digital Addressable Lighting Interface is a trademark for network-based systems that control lighting in building automation. The underlying technology was established by a consortium of lighting equipment manufacturers as a successor for 0 to 10 volts lighting control systems, and as an open standard alternative to Digital Signal Interface on which it is based. DALI is specified by technical standards IEC 62386 and IEC 60929. Standards conformance ensures that equipment from different manufacturers will interoperate. The DALI trademark is allowed on devices that comply with the current standards when manufactured. Members of the AG DALI founded by Philips Lighting in 1984 were freely allowed to use the DALI trademark until DALI Working Party was dissolved on 30 March 2017. Since 9 June 2017, Digital Illumination Interface Alliance certifies DALI equipment. DIIA is a partner program of IEEE ISTO. Topic. Technical overview A DALI network consists of a controller, a power supply which may be built into the controller and one or more slave devices e.g., electrical ballasts, LED drivers and dimmers that have DALI interfaces. The controller can monitor and control each device by means of a bi-directional data exchange. The DALI protocol permits devices to be individually addressed and it also allows multiple devices to be addressed simultaneously via multicast and broadcast messages. Each device is assigned a unique static address in the numeric range 0 to 63, making possible up to 64 devices in a basic system. Addresses may be arbitrarily assigned and need not be contiguous. DALI gateways can be used to implement systems that have more than 64 devices. Data is transferred between controller and devices by means of an asynchronous, half-duplex, serial protocol over a two-wire bus, with a fixed data transfer rate of 1200-bit, s. A single pair of wires comprise the bus used for communication to all devices on a DALI network. The network can be arranged in a bus or star topology, or a combination of these. DALI is not classified as SELV separated extra low voltage and therefore its wiring may be run next to mains cables or within a multi-core cable which includes mains power. Data is transmitted using high voltages 0 plus or minus 4.5 volts for 0 and 16 plus or minus 6.5 volts for 1 19 enabling reliable communications in the presence of significant electrical noise. The bus is used for both signal and power. A power supply provides 250 mA at 24 volts DC. Each device may draw up to 2 mA, 20, 35 while many devices are line powered. Low power devices such as motion detectors may be powered directly from the Dolly bus. Each device has a bridge rectifier on its input so it is polarity insensitive. The bus is a wired and configuration where signals are sent by briefly shorting the bus to a low voltage level. The bus is also defined to be polarity insensitive, allowing dolly wires can be connected to a device without regard for polarity the voltage specification allows plenty of headroom for a bridge rectifier in each slave, and the speed is kept low so no termination resistors are required, the network cable is required to be mains rated, with 600 volts isolation and a maximum drop of 2 volts along the cable, 19 the required cable size depends on the length of the bus, up to a maximum of 300 meters with 1.5 square millimeters. 15 Aruban florins and 40 cents conductors. Each bit is sent Manchester coded half a bit time of the data bit, followed by half a bit time of its complement, so that power is present for half of each bit time. When the bus is idle, it is high voltage all the time, which is not the same as a zero or a one data bit. Frames begin with a zero. Start bit, then 8 to 16 data bits in MSBIT first order standard minus 232 rupees as LSBIT first, followed by a minimum 2 bit times of idle. Each device on a DALI network can be individually addressed, unlike DSI and 0 to 10 volts devices. Consequently, DALI networks use fewer wires than DSI or 0 to 10 volts systems. Some devices e HF ballasts, are mains powered, and only have functional isolation between the mains and the dolly control. This means that even though the dolly control cable operates at ELV potential, it must be treated as if it were at mains potential. 
Dolly lighting levels are specified by an 8-bit value, where 0 means off, 1 means 0.1% of full brightness, 254 means full brightness, and other values are logarithmically interpolated between, giving a 2.77% increase per step. That is, a non-zero control byte x denotes a power level of 103 x minus 254, 253. Topic: <laughs> Device addressing. A dolly device, such as a HF fluorescent ballast, can be controlled individually via its short address. In addition to this method of control, dolly devices can be arranged into groups in which all devices of the same group can interact with each other. For example, a room with four ballasts can be changed from off to on in three common ways. Topic. Single device Using the short address, e.g. sending the following dolly messages. Dolly short address 1 go to 100%. Dolly short address 2 go to 100% Dolly short address 3 go to 100% Dolly short address 4 go to 100% This method has the advantage of not relying on the limited number of scenes available in each ballast, or having programmed each ballast with the required group numbers and scene information. The fade rate of the transition can be chosen on the fly. This method can have an undesirable side effect called Mexican wave. When a single large room such as an auditorium contains many ballasts, due to network latency of the comparatively slow 1200 BU rate of dolly. For example, a transition from all on to all off may result in a visible delay between the first and last ballast switching off. This issue is normally not a problem in rooms with smaller numbers of ballasts. Topic. Device groups. Using the dolly group previously defined for the ballasts in the room, e.g. dolly group address 1 go to 100% This method has the advantage of being immune to the Mexican wave effect as described above. This method has the disadvantage of requiring each ballast to be programmed with the required group numbers and scene information, and has a fixed fade rate which is preset at the time of commissioning. Topic. Broadcast. Using the dolly broadcast command all, every ballast will change to that level, e.g. dolly broadcast go to 50%. <laughs> Topic. Brightness control The dolly protocol provides 254 levels of brightness between off and 100%. The brightness is translated to a ballast power level via a logarithmic dimming curve that matches eye sensitivity so that perceived brightness steps will have uniform brightness change, and to achieve a uniform brightness between units from different manufacturers. Topic. Commands Common commands specified by the DALI standard Topic. Wireless extension A wireless extension to DALI is available that enables DALI networks to communicate via wireless, radio frequency communication. DALI and Bluetooth On 16 February 2017 the Mesh Professional Lighting Subgroup was created as a forum to discuss and develop Bluetooth Mesh technology as a foundation for the wireless lighting standard. See also Dimmer Lighting Control Console Lighting Control System References Topic. External links Dolly at ZVEI, Zentralverband Elektrotechnik und Elektronikindustrie e.V. Digital Illumination Interface Alliance